Let's begin with a three-dimensional vector A. It can be defined by its direction cosines. If the magnitude of this vector is 1, it may be a unit vector. Notice that the directional cosines specify the unit vector. Since the magnitude of a unit vector is 1, the square root of the sum of the squares of the components equals 1. And so the square root of the sum of the squares of the directional cosines equals 1. Only two directional angles are required to set the direction of a vector. Revisiting the example that defined vector A, the magnitude of vector A can be factored out. So vector A may be specified by the magnitude of vector A multiplied by the unit vector. Assuming this is a force vector having units of newtons, notice that newtons cancel out. So unit vectors are unitless. Here is a summary of algebraic relationships for unit vectors. and a summary of 3D vectors and unit vectors.